The Division Repair and Recovery System ensures the operational readiness of all its combat, combat support, and combat service support equipment, less aviation, medical, dental, and cryptographic material. This system is operated principally by the personnel of the Land Electrical and Mechanical Engineering Branch. The system provides repair, recovery, preventive maintenance, servicing, repair part scaling, modification, and technical documentation services. In operations, the system returns the maximum amount of equipment to a battle-worthy state as fast as possible. This is accomplished by moving EME personnel and equipment to locations where they can best support the operation, by in-situ repairs, by quick recovery and backloading of equipment casualties to repair facilities, and by assigning maintenance priorities to engaged units and to critical equipment. To provide this detailed support, the system has both staff and line components. The G4 staff at all levels includes a maintenance substaff. Their tasks include providing technical advice, coordinating maintenance activities, detailing the maintenance input to orders, instructions, and future plans, liaison, preparing reports and returns, and setting priorities for repair and recovery in conjunction with the operations staff. The staff is assisted by a technical chain of control, which permits the passing of technical direction and the resolution of technical problems between G4 maintenance staffs and division maintenance units and sections. The system's line component consists of maintenance units and elements designed to provide repair and recovery services to their parent unit or formation. These units are classified by levels and lines of maintenance. Levels identify the extent of maintenance work, while lines identify the working organizations. Level 1, 2, and limited level 3 tasks are performed by first and second line units within the division. Most level 3 tasks are performed at core, while level 4 repairs are normally conducted by echelons above core. Level 1 maintenance activities include preventive maintenance and servicing, preliminary diagnosis of faults, component replacement, and repairs of a minor nature. Also included are the recovery of unit vehicles and equipment, as well as route clearance and the provision of heavy lift for the unit. Level 2 activities encompass work that is more technically demanding and which requires a wider variety of special tooling and test equipment. It includes the replacement of major assemblies such as engines and second line recovery activities. First line maintenance organizations are found within units. They perform level 1 and limited level 2 maintenance. The division's second line maintenance units perform level 2 and some level 1 maintenance and can be assigned limited level 3 work. Level 3 maintenance activities concentrate on reconditioning while level 4 deals with the overhaul of equipments. These services for the most part are provided by better equipped, more sophisticated and more static third and fourth line organizations. In operations, battle damage and equipment failure will produce a large number of equipment casualties. The speed with which damaged vehicles and major equipment can be moved to an appropriate repair or backloading facility, repaired, and returned to service will have a direct influence on the outcome of the battle. The Division Recovery Plan is prepared by the Division G4 staff and is implemented by the Division Service Group. A good recovery plan fully exploits the maintenance system and it is an essential element of any traffic control operation. It also prevents the accumulation of equipment casualties in unit locations by providing a means of backloading work beyond unit resources. The DISC Group Recovery Company provides technical advice and the necessary command and control elements needed to execute the recovery plan. The Division Maintenance Plan, also prepared by the G4 staff, is based on the distribution of maintenance resources within the Division. 
It involves the service battalions supporting their affiliated brigades and the disc group maintenance battalion supporting the division troops. The battalion also supports certain brigade equipments, including the majority of the division's wheeled vehicles. Critical equipments, such as tanks, artillery guns, anti-armor vehicles, engineer equipments, and command post vehicles, are normally repaired forward by mobile repair teams. Less critical vehicles and equipments, and those requiring level three or level four repair, are recovered as soon as practicable to the appropriate EMI organization. A unit recovery operation begins with a request from the vehicle crew or from a MRT, which is passed to the unit maintenance command post. A recovery team is tasked, briefed, and dispatched. Serviceable equipment is recovered to a point where it can be driven away. Unserviceable equipment is moved to a unit repair location or if beyond a unit's repair capability to an equipment collection point. Here, Division Second Line Recovery Resources take over and the equipment is either moved to a second line maintenance organization or to a backloading point. From the BLP, equipment would be redirected to a third or fourth line maintenance facility. ECPs and BLPs are normally sighted to the rear of an administrative area. ECPs are manned and controlled by the Division Service Group Maintenance Battalion and BLPs by the COSCOM Maintenance Brigade. Generally, units recover equipment to a unit repair location or to an ECP. The service battalion recovers to its maintenance company or to a BLP, and the maintenance battalion recovers to one of its repair companies or to the division BLP. Normally, an equipment will move along the shortest route to the appropriate repair facility. For example, if a unit maintenance platoon or troop has an equipment casualty assessed by unit tradesmen or a second line MRT as requiring third line services, that equipment will move from the unit to the ECP on to the division BLP and on to the core maintenance brigade, thus bypassing the brigade and division workshop facilities. If the unit determines that the required repairs can be completed in situ by a second line MRT, a repair request is forwarded to the appropriate repair company and a MRT is tasked. The MRT crew draws the required repair parts and moves forward to the casualties location. On arrival, the MRT is met by the vehicle crew and is briefed on the local situation and repairs required. Once the repair task is completed, the equipment is returned to the battle. The unit maintenance platoon or troop is normally a part of the administration subunit. Its maintenance officer is the commanding officer's advisor on all EMI matters. Also included in the unit maintenance organization is a vehicle maintenance section with tracked, wheeled and specialist subsections an ancillary maintenance section with weapons, fire control, and materials specialists. A tool crib, a repair parts section, a recovery section, and a control office. When not engaged, inspection, servicing, and routine maintenance are part of the unit's daily activity. Emphasis is placed on preventive maintenance to ensure that the unit is ready for battle. During operations, the primary task of the maintenance platoon or troop is to keep unit equipment battle-worthy. This is accomplished by a maximum of in-situ repairs. Equipments which cannot be repaired in a reasonable time are either backloaded or left until later. The maintenance company of the disc group service battalion is located in the brigade administrative area. It provides prioritized EMI second line services to its affiliated brigade in combat. 
It is a relatively small organization, and its MRTs complete repairs to the AFVs, other armored vehicles including reconnaissance vehicles, APCs, and priority wheeled vehicles. The company has a limited recovery capability, which operates principally in support of its repair function. The Disc Group Maintenance Battalion operates from the Division Administrative Area and is equipped to support a wide variety of equipments requiring special tools, test equipments, and technical skills. It provides MRTs and recovery vehicles to conduct Level 2 forward repair and recovery tasks in support of the Brigade Service Battalions and for the Division Troop Units. It also provides first-line maintenance support to units without an integral maintenance organization, as well as providing second-level repairs to non-priority vehicles and equipments. For the maintenance system to function, it must have a good supply of repair parts. The division holdings consist of a 45-day stock of parts for Level 1 repairs, and a 30-day supply for second-level tasks. Of these, the unit holds a 15-day stock of first-line spares. The service battalions hold a limited range of repair parts to satisfy emergency demands. The balance of the 30-day stock is held between the maintenance battalion and the supply battalion. Stocks are resupplied through the replenishment system or from holdings carried by the service battalions, supply battalion, or the maintenance battalion. Urgently required parts can be brought forward at any time and by any means. Cannibalization of equipment is strictly controlled. Once equipment has been classified as beyond repair, it may be placed in help yourself parks established close to the BLPs. Maintenance organizations can then remove any available urgently required repair parts. If an equipment such as a radio, weapon, or assembly is beyond the repair capability of a unit, it's turned over to the quartermaster. He passes it upward through the supply chain by the replenishment system to a second or third line maintenance organization. At the lowest level possible, the equipment is either repaired or disposed of, and if repaired, passes back down the supply chain to a unit. Due to the nature of high intensity operations, the repair of battle-damaged equipments and recovery operations will be major factors in maintaining the operational readiness of the formation. The maintenance system provides the best compromise between operational and technical requirements of the division in operations. Through it, the division's damaged or unserviceable equipments can be quickly returned to the battle. 